Well, the B-17 was the workhorse of the 8th Air Force in World War II. It was our heavy bomber. Um, it is the one that, that won us the war and brought all our crews home. Um, built almost 13,000 of them for the war effort. Today there's only 10 still flying worldwide and only four that you can actually fly in. So it's uh, certainly hands-on history. Our heritage is not in mothballs or the pages of a dusty book. We uh, lost a lot of our air crew in World War II. We're losing 1,500 World War II veterans a day. And with each death goes another story of courage and, violence and, and uh, valor. And this airplane, I hope, probably represents those stories. That it was tough to get around in. I remembered that. And especially trying to get out with the parachute and everything, getting through some of those spaces was a challenge. I was going to bail out the hatch, but the bombardier who knew more about uh, the B-17 flying and that, because it was my first mission, he, he motioned me to go out the waist. So when I got into the waist, uh, six enlisted men were already bailing out. I was the seventh man out, and the bombardier followed. After we bailed out, we were captured. All eight of us were captured, and uh, I was in prison camp for a little bit over 10 months. I feel like I was one of the lucky ones. First of all, this particular camp was put aside for flying officers who were captured. And so the bombardier and I went to that camp, and the enlisted men went to a different camp. I would say that our camp was probably a grade above the other camps in terms of treatment. Although the Germans, for the most part, lived up to uh, the Geneva Convention. I wasn't mistreated, for example. But if you stepped out of line, uh, they, were wait they were waiting to put it to you. So if you. As long as you behaved according to the Geneva Convention, they, uh, they honored that. The main thing that uh, I'm impressed with is the fact that uh, somebody is trying to preserve the, uh, what happened in World War II and some of the, the flavor of, uh, of, the, of the missions that we flew. I think that uh, the present generation uh, will learn a little history with this. I hope that's my main, that's my main motivation for doing this.